Time to step inside the tech tent as Apple unveils a new and improved HomePod. Joining me, the editor of Tech Guide, Stephen Fennec. Steve, -o, first up, good morning. How are you? Good to see you back in, uh, in, in your home. You've been travelling around like Marco Polo. Uh, life is getting <laughs> back to normal. Uh, first up, tell us about the new platform, ChatGPT. This is fascinating. Yeah, this is uh, a new language and text platform that can generate content uh, really quickly. So you can simply ask it, you know, write me a 500-word explanation about how they have rain forms in the atmosphere and it'll, it'll punch out... Uh, that 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 text for you. It, it's it, it's it's come. Yeah, a lot, a lot of a lot of users are, are uh, using ChatGPT to create social media posts, write real estate listings, thank you notes, all these various things. But the big concern from educators is that students will maybe use this platform to to cheat or to to create content and pass it off as their own. So uh, it, this, this platform, by the way, has already been banned in New South Wales and Queensland uh, public schools for 2023 already, with other states set to follow. So I think it's the real challenge for educators here is to make sure that their students actually learn the material rather than asking a platform like this to just generate their essays for them. Now, I decided to put this to the test. You can see on Tech Guide, we asked it, we looked up one of the HSC 2022 exam papers, and we pulled out a question about great expectations and uh, the various themes of that text. Yeah, that's right. And what, what it produced was a, was a passable answer with, with quite enough detail for, for, for that to have answered that question in the exam. So uh, it is really intelligent. There are some limitations, like it can't offer opinions. It doesn't have uh, knowledge beyond 2021. So it, it is, it, there are some things that limit the platform, but um, this is something that we're going to be seeing a lot more of. Uh, apparently, Amazon and Apple and Meta, which is the, the, uh, the and Google, the, the Meta's the parent company of Facebook, are all developing their own AI platforms as well. Microsoft has poured $10 billion into ChatGPT, uh, which is owned by OpenAI. So uh, we're going to see a lot more of this uh, coming forward with combined with search uh, and this the ability to produce this sort of content is going to be uh, all around us, I think, from, uh, from now on. Sony's got some new headphones. They do, yes. Yeah. Sony have uh, come up with a he some headphones called the Float Run. So this is uh, designed specifically for runners. So if you are, if you love getting out and listening to your music, what Float Run does is actually uh, it, it, it's it is a pair of headphones that is that is suspended above your ear. So rather than going into your ear canal, uh, and and I know if you've ever put your headphones in and you're on a run or a walk, you can hear your footsteps and everything echoing through your head. Uh, Sony have have created this where the actual earphone floats above your ear. There's a flexible neck band that keeps it above your ear. Now this is the apart from the benefit of the not having your footsteps echoing through your head when you're running. The other benefit is that it lets in ambient sound. So it's for safety reasons. I think it's great to be able to hear your surroundings, especially if you're running near roads, some busy areas, uh, and uh, and of course being Sony, you know you're going to get that audio quality as well. Uh, the these are going to be released in April. They're going to be uh, two hundred and fifty-nine dollars when they're released. So this was a uh, just a uh, that they did show them to uh, they they put this out as a preview so uh, customers can get ready to get a hold of them in April. What about this uh, new and improved Apple HomePod? Well, Apple introduced the first HomePod about five or six years ago, and it was about the same time where Google and Alexa were also bringing out their speakers as well. Now, at the time. The, on the smart side, I think Google and Alexa were playing Apple off a break. There, there was, theirs was more about audio quality. Now, fast forward to today, and what Apple's done is not only brought the, back the HomePod but all, and, and the amazing audio quality, but they've also created a hub so that it can also look after your smart home devices as well. Now, what, what's going to happen, Apple's going to benefit greatly from the introduction of Matter. Matter is a new standard, a new platform that's going to be introduced for all smart home devices to work together. Think Bluetooth, where no matter what brand phone you've got, no matter what brand headphones you've got, 
they just connect using Bluetooth. Imagine that same technology for smart home devices. So what, no matter what speaker you've got, no matter what devices you have in your home, they're all going to work together and the HomePod's going to benefit from, from that. Apple's going to be able to uh, sh share the same credentials in the smart home space now as Amazon and Google. So expect this. Uh, this is released actually next week. It's going to be $479. Uh, and this goes along with their previously released HomePod Mini. So yeah, not only are you getting in the great audio quality, which is what, what uh, the, 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 the speaker can optimise itself for depending on where it's sitting in your room, whether it's in a corner, whether it's in front of curtains, near furniture. So it really does sound great, but also has those smarts as well. Absolutely. You going to Spain soon? Uh, yeah, end of February, I'll be in Spain for the Mobile uh, World Congress, but I am actually jumping on a plane tomorrow to go to San Francisco with Samsung for their Galaxy S23 launch. So their new smartphone is their new flagship. will be released early Thursday morning, Sydney time. So uh, I'll be mm. chatting to you from San Fran next week with all the details about this new their new flagship smartphone. We'll go and have some uh, seafood at Fisherman's Wharf for us. I love Frisco. Good Definitely. on you, Steve. We'll chat with you next week. Thanks, Timmy.